Uh, last of the afternoon slate of games, the Kansas City Chiefs visiting the Las Vegas Raiders. What do we got? Uh, what's the matchup that matters here? Because it doesn't look good for the Raiders. Uh, is there is there any prayer here, or you know, what, what are you looking at when you're looking at this game? No, what I'm looking at is Patrick Mahomes versus the Bulletin Board. Uh, oh. Because this is the game where we're going to find out how it's going to be handled. Oh, if you recall, no. back in preseason, the Raiders took the Kermit Muppet around that was dressed up as Patrick Mahomes with his hair and his jersey and they made a big joke out of it mm. and then Patrick not Mahomes what you want was, at this point of the season for the Raiders not what you want not what you want you knew I mean even at the time there were someone who was like this is not going to age well like obviously that's not going to age well and sure enough the Raiders struggling the Chiefs Still getting it done despite not looking like the Chiefs were used to seeing. But they are the only unbeaten team in the league. And at the time, Patrick was brought that video and asked about that video. And he said it will be handled when it's handled. This is the first opportunity for it to be handled. And if you don't think that that's a guy that manufactures motivation as much as Patrick Mahomes does, as much as Andy Reid does, isn't thinking about that going into this game to just kind of add insult to injury here. Uh, you've got they, these Raiders have another thing coming. I just I, the memes will be off the charts. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Oh man. So yeah, not, Raiders. not a whole lot of concrete uh, uh, stats there for you, but no, no that but that's just yeah, the same. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I think you are one hundred percent right. Uh, Chiefs offensive line versus the Raiders defensive line. That's where I'll go. I, I genuinely think yours actually matters more than mine, even though I'm going to have stats. And the, the one stat that you have is is uh, one Kermit Muppet dressed up as a Patrick Mahomes jersey. I'm here. But, what? <laughs> yeah. I'm here. I the can't Chiefs, do a Kermit boy. <laughs> Chiefs Chiefs offensive line. Uh, one of the best in the NFL, if if not the best. I think they've got um, a, a claim to that, although I think the Lions are, are are pretty up there. I would say the Chiefs are a top three offensive line in the NFL, and a lot of it comes from those interior trio of guys that are playing really, really well. But 81.0 PFF grade this season, the second in the NFL. Yep. They're first in run blocking grade. They're 16th in pass blocking grade. When you look at the Raiders' defensive line, it, it's a unit that – I think needs to just be better overall. Christian Wilkins lost, uh, missed a little bit of time. Tyree Wilson still kind of slow to start here. 63.5 PFF pass, pass rushing grade um, for this team. That's tied for 22nd in the NFL. They only have 76 pressures as a defensive line. That's tied for 25th in the NFL. That's what worries me here is the one area I think that where you would point to on this Raiders team where you would go, okay, this is an area of strength for them. I don't even think it's stronger than the Chiefs' strength. No. So, if the Chief, if if the Raiders can't really step it up along the defensive line, this one could get extremely ugly here. Especially because the Chiefs have not only motivation but a new star wide receiver to throw the ball to here with DeAndre Hopkins, who I see as both of our plus factors here in this game. Talk to me about DeAndre Hopkins and sort of what you're expecting from him here. Yeah, I mean, we saw that Sky Moore now um, is out for the Chiefs. They just kind of keep taking hits along their receiving core, which makes a lot of sense. I mean, they needed uh, some help before that even happened. So now you figure DeAndre Hopkins is going to be a focal point of this offense and trying to get the ball to him is going to be Patrick Mahomes' uh, number one priority here. And like I said, they've been getting it done regardless. Uh, I, I've kind of, I guess, hyper, hyperbolically or jokingly, I've been like, you know, not only do I have more faith in the Chiefs to three-peat this year than I ever have, but they may not lose a game at the, at this point. And so now you add a guy like DeAndre Hopkins, who is just so good at those kind of con contested catches, at the production that he's been able to have in his career. I realize he's a little bit older now, and we haven't seen that from him, but we also haven't seen Patrick Mahomes throwing him the ball. So... What is that going to look like? Are you going to kind of be able to just loft it up to DeAndre Hopkins in the way that you used to be, you know, three, four years ago and him come down with it um, versus single coverage in his career or this year, seven targets, four catches for 43 yards, one receiving touchdown, um, three catches gaining a first down. So he's one of those clutch guys. Is he going to be the one, one of the ones to move the sticks for this Kansas City offense? If I trust anyone, like I said, I trust Patrick Mahomes. I trust Andy Reid. Even I trust Matt Nagy in, in Kansas City. 
I think it's hard to not to at this point. Uh, look, I think that Hopkins is the plus factor for me as well, specifically in the red zone. When you look at the Chiefs, 47.8% touchdown conversion percentage in the red zone this year. That is 25th in the NFL. When you look at DeAndre Hopkins, three out of the last five years, he has earned a receiving grade above 77 specifically in the red zone. Now, this is one of those years so far where it is not above 77, but uh, you know, like we talked about with the Titans, like we have talked about in weeks prior, their passing attack isn't exactly potent. So I would think that we're going to get a much better version of DeAndre Hopkins than we have even seen this year here now with the Kansas City Chiefs. And I think specifically, it's going to be in the red zone where we really see the return on investment for this trade shine. I don't think that Hopkins, even with as much as they might love for him to be i don't think he's going to be this multi 100 yard receiver in like three four games in a row or 150 yards receiver. like i don't think he's going to be that version of deandre hopkins anymore but it's just specifically scoring seven instead of three or even seven instead of zero when we get into the red zone that's where i really think that deandre hopkins is going to be a major difference maker um our research guy dave Solfaro. Uh, threw this stat out at me and it doesn't really have to do with what we're talking about, but it's incredible. So I want to read it. Chiefs has not allowed more than 27 points in a single game since Super Bowl 57. That's not last year's Super Bowl. No. That's the year before 27 straight games. They have not allowed more than 27 points. Steve Spagnuolo has this group playing extremely well. We didn't even talk about that there, but I think it's I because we have talked I, about it. Yeah, We've talked thanks, about it so Dave, many for times. bringing that up, honestly, because that that is that's something that goes completely overlooked is just how good this defense is and how this defense is the reason that the Chiefs have had so much so much success and why they have the luxury to not be as productive on offense or i mean they're still as efficient as they've ever been but at least productive the chiefs defense is the reason for that 